hi guys welcome to my channel this is going to be my second video here on youtube so welcome if you first time you are joining hi my name is sas and i love to create makeup so i thought i would try something very different for me and i'm really excited to see how this is actually going to go um I saw this on TikTok and it is this absolutely incredible, beautiful eye look by a woman called Becky Morgan. I will link her, um, I'll try and put like, her username up on the screen. If not, I'll leave it in the description box. But she does this very nice, like, neutral eye look, which doesn't have any shimmer on the lid. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go. I love shimmer but anyway she uses the made by mitchell face glaze things um on her lower lash line and i thought let's try it let's get into it <laughs> I have already done my brows and today it is the Icy Babies brow shape and I'm going to use the P. Louise um, Identify palette because it's got quite a lot of light neutrals and it's got a little bit of a, some dark ones on there anyway so let's get into it so first up I'm going to go ahead and prime with the P. Louise base in rumour too okay I am back looking a bit crazy I just put some tape down because I'm wanting to do like a wing and I can never get a straight line so I've just finished priming and the palette doesn't actually have any shades so I'm just going to go in with this one here I'm not kind of like a mediumish brown and I'm just going to start taking it in to my crease I'm thinking of doing sort of like um maybe like using one of the really nude like whitish ones to sort of create yeah just taking this in to my crease and bringing it down towards the front this is a Cosmic Brushes CB1 brush I have two of their brushes and they're actually really good quality. I would actually be interested in buying some more, but I currently have four plant pots full of brushes, so I don't think I need any more. I'm just going to finish blending this and then I will come back. Okay, so I've finished doing that and I started using whatever was left on the brush just to flick out a little bit towards sort of the side and then I'm going to take a P. Louise 299 brush looks like this and then I'm going to take the shade that is literally above it which is this one here and then I'm just going to start sort of doing a 50-50 method over this one to sort of blend that out a bit the one problem I say I have is I can't always see the shade uh, they're actually lighter than the other shade sometimes i've got quite bad eyesight so sometimes i end up with a darker shade and i'm just like oh my gosh oh so this is the first time i'm using this brush so i've just literally just got it out of the packaging i have so many brushes that are literally still in the plastic but i haven't got around to using them yet but I'm just starting to try and blend that out even more. I do really, really rate the P. Louise brushes, I will say. And her eyeshadow is actually insane as well. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go into um, some of these light shades have got slight shimmer in. But I can't see it unless the light hits it. I'm going to take this shade here, which is matte, and then I'm just going to start, start to blend that out even more, just so I've got a nice blend. I actually am really rating this brush. It's actually really good to blend. Okay, so let's deepen the outer corners. I'm going to take a P. Louise 1122 brush, and it's just like a little stubby brush these brushes are really good for um on the lower lash line and also getting right into the lash line so i'm actually going to take this dark shade here 
I feel really awkward with that this dark shade here because I had no shade names. I'm just gonna take it and on the lower lash line, and then I start to wing it out. Okay, so now I've done that. I'm just gonna take a brush. I don't know what this one is. It's just it doesn't even have a brand name on, but it's a bigger sort of style of this. And I'm gonna take the shade above the shade that I just taken. And I'm going to just go over the lash line and I'm going to take a little bit and put it right in the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just going to start sort of trying to blend this out a bit. And then on this brush that I used first, I'm going to take that first shade and I'm just going to start to just go over in the crease just to try and bring all the shades together. Okay, so I just did off camera a tiny, tiny bit of the base again, just on the inner part of my eye. And then I'm going to take, I think, this shade here just to sort of set that all in place. And I'm going to take it on a Trigwell T09, just place it. Just so that, just so it sets the base in place. And then once I've done that, using the brush that I used, the darker shade for, I'm just going to take a little, just going to just tap. So it kind of blends the two shades together so it doesn't look sort of too obvious. Just so it sort of, Blends them together and it's a bit more okay. seamless. I love this part, taking the tape off and seeing the nice line that you've got. So that is what we're looking at at the moment. Whether they're even or not is another matter, but it's not math lessons. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to do like my base and then come back and do this because I think it might be easier. But anyway, I'll be back to finish the look off in a minute. Okay, let's do this lower lash line. I'm using the shade Cosmo, which was the collab with Melissa Jade. So yeah, let's try. I'm going to use a angled brush. This is by Trigwell Cosmetics. It's a T12. I'm going to see how that goes because I've never tried this technique before. So I'm not really sure how it's going to go. Okay, so she puts it on the waterline and underneath, so we're just going to go for it. Okay. It is working. You kind of have to stamp it on. It is making my eyes feel really dry that might be something to bear in mind but okay so this is what it's looking like all right let me do the other eye and then okay I'll so i've done the other eye and i just applied some half lashes by um, pound lashes in style hl05 so let's to my lip. I'm going to use P. Louise My Affection and NARS in Sweet Deposition. Okay, so this is the finished look. I actually really, really like the eyes. I think they're really different for me. And it's just like a pop of colour. I think it actually looks really, really nice. I do have um, the blue that's still sealed, the blue um so i do want to try it with the blue but what do you guys think i actually really like this look i think it looks really really nice but anyway here we go this is a finished look i hope you guys have enjoyed i'm i'm really sorry if i am really boring but um <laughs> anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you in the next one